The name of the game is community. It's about, uh, it's about keeping all the balls on the table. That's metaphorical though. I'm getting all the balls. The last waltz is a movie by Scorsese that he was documenting. A final performance by the band in 1976. Take all of the great artists who are slaying in the 70s. You know, they're friends who just happen to be Bob Dylan and Neil Young and Dr. John. Paul Butterfield. The energy that they were able to accomplish with that night is something truly magical. I feel like our community understands that magic. Last Waltz was our first glimpse at what we could be like if we all come together. Hey, real quick, I just want to say, we all know what the fuck's going on with this community, right? <laughs> this awesome thing that we have going. Fucking five years ago, Northern Seoul, this year, White Eagle Hall. We're not stopping here. Nope. Keep going. Nope. Keep yeah. building it together. We're all in it together. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty-seven musicians, one night, everybody just wants to work towards the common goal of making the music sound as good as it can. That really speaks to the killer scene that we've got here in Hoboken and Jersey City. I think walking in that room had a profound effect on how I've decided to cover the, the regional music scene and the energy we put into doing that because we know that there's something going on here. Good evening and welcome back. You hear the bass for Don't Do It kick in, you're like, do, 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 do. You're like, okay, yeah, they're, they're gonna do it. And then the, then the horns come and you're like, oh shit, they're doing it for real. Baby, don't you do it. As the guitar player, really the most challenging part for me is to kind of cop and emulate some of the really crucial, uh, iconic, if you will, guitar lines that Robbie plays from that show. Uh, you know, I, uh, some, I, some I do pretty well, some maybe not so well. Um, one of the great things though is he does leave a lot of space and I, I kind of have a little room to interpret and put my own spin on a few of the tunes, which is always nice. How do you identify with Levon? I identify with Levon really as being a singing drummer, um, somebody who's you know in the background but also in the forefront, um, and uh, I I really enjoy playing and singing, and he he's definitely very inspirational. He was one of the best singing drummers ever. Ever. Yeah. Another one of the best singing drummers ever. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So uh, back when we all started this whole thing, um, there was one guy who started it all, really. Dave Entwistle. The Hawk. You might know him. What's your favorite uh, band song? Uh, oh. That's going to be hard. That's going to take another 20 minutes. Um, oh, damn it. Now I can't remember the name of the song. Oh, wait, it. Uh, well, I was going to say off the record, but you're going to cut it. <laughs> uh, oh, there it is. Never mind. I remembered it. My favorite. My favorite. <laughs> I was going to do it. Okay. Come on. Mother. No cur uh, What? <laughs> Get me all frazzled now. Now I lost it again. <laughs> my favorite, all right. My favorite band song is I Shall Be Released. Uh, that wasn't right. <laughs> okay. It wasn't. That's not the one I meant to say. And it makes no difference. It makes no difference. My favorite band song is It Makes No Difference. Uh, it brings tears to my eyes almost every time. You walk out. Humming that for days when it's over, you know that, that really that performance sticks with me a lot from that. Well, he's on my amazing amount of cooperation in, in the music community, which wasn't always there. You know, it, it's a new thing that's sort of evolved through the efforts of Leo Productions and the latest noise, you know, people getting together and saying, hey, there's no reason to be exclusive. There's no reason to say, you know, this is mine, go away. Well, we have the core band, which is uh, Jerry Rosenthal, Jeff Fernandez, myself, and uh, Aaron Kotler. And we're kind of beefing up our horn section a little bit this year. Some of the champs are playing. Uh, we also have Jim Bell on trumpet, uh, Jeremy Hunt, the Huntsman on Barry, Matt Schoenbaum, Shuby on tenor and soprano. Ben's playing. Every song is great, and you're just excited to see every single person get up and play their part. You're not let down by anyone or anything. Life is a carnival. Whew. We started doing that 
so good when it comes in with a like the beat is like so heavy and one, two, three, four. at the end man three part harmony with Jeff and Jerry is one of the one of the greater uh, greater moments of my my existence <laughs> so man of the drinks in the third degree trying to deal with people Dr. John is the minister of the blues. He's, he's got these dirty licks that are just memorable and just nasty and uh, kind of make you stop dead in your tracks and go, how do I do that? How do I make that happen? And it's all about feel. This force of fierceness in our city, in our community, that I'm about to introduce is a musician, an artist, a writer, a composer, a score, a ranger. Sylvana Joyce, please. Give it up. I definitely try to challenge myself to get even deeper into the song, both pianistically and vocally, just try and give it my next best effort. <laughs> I identify with Neil Young prior to this role. My little bit of folk harmonica is completely comes from Neil. People, people say it's Dylan because they're more used to seeing Dylan with an acoustic and a harmonica, but it's straight up Neil. The songs are simple, straight to the point, super relatable, and like, no bullshit. I'd just like to say before I start, it's one of the pleasures of my life to be performing for these people on this stage tonight. I was psyched to do that. Psyched to be Neil for a night.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, these defending champs are going to come up right here. connected not just as artists but as friends and comrades and when we come together to play music we are greater than the sum of our parts. We're like the, like the 747. Some of us are the jet engines, some of us are the, uh, the fuel, the fuselage, the wings, the stewards and stewardesses, like that Johnny Walker black in a glass when you're in first class and uh, it's got that big rock in it and you get it even before the plane leaves. That's how good everyone is. Shit. All right, we got another band coming up. Good friends of ours right here from Jersey City. Let's hear it for Savannah Joyce in a moment. I'm pulling in an aspirin. I was feeling about half past eight. I feel about a place. Yeah. 
fifth time doing this show, their fifth year in their third venue. And now we're taking over White Eagle Hall, and isn't this room perfect? Just like the 37 performers tonight, they just love playing this music. Especially the average sheer is in the Vengolon to Canterbury they went down. Well, let's talk about the, the first rehearsal when you uh, put this all together. What was that like? <laughs> uh, pandemonium, but not really pandemonium. Um, I have the uh, wonderful Casey Solomon, my, my lovely partner, who has an experience in event production and was able to manage and wrangle these, these cats. I'm glad that I don't have to herd the cats. I would imagine that that's got to be damn near impossible. Herding cats is the most challenging part of putting this thing together. Although it's getting easier because everybody's uh, still, but still you get a person like, where the hell is this guy or girl? Uh, but me, I just have to walk up harmonica, the acoustic, sing it out and go back to my, you know, my beer. Jerry Rosenthal, Jerry Rowe. Tommy Straza on guitar guesting. It's all about the music. Spiritually, physically, psychotically. I have to quote the great TR. We love it so, it doesn't make us a damn cent. Just the fact of how much it uh, has grown with each one that we've, that we've done each year. You mm -hmm. know, starting out at the tiny spot of Northern Seoul. There's a line around the block. Uh, you couldn't get in. Oh. In the couple years in Maxwell's and now this year at White Eagle Hall. An enormous venue. Four times capacity. Four times capacity. first show, the first last waltz that was held in Hoboken, I missed it. Like there was a, um, like we had an NH mag mixer that night and I'm like, God damn it, you know, I really want to get over there and catch that. So we wrapped up the H mixer and I sprinted over to, to Northern Seoul and I walked in the room and like literally everybody's like standing there getting their picture taken afterwards. And I'm like, ah, you know, I just missed the whole thing, but you could still feel in the room like this, this energy, you know, not to be too cliche but there was just you wa I walked in knowing I had just missed something big and so to sort of tap into that is, is a really remarkable thing for a music community to do. This next person I'm going to bring up here is um, the kind of guy that uh, he's like the gravel under your shoes that gives you good traction. Uh, Lloyd Gould ladies and gentlemen. How we do tonight? 
And from the center of the circle To the midst of the waiting crowd If it ever be forgotten Sing long and sing it loud And come dry your eyes Uh, that coyote gets me every time. It's not just because Casey's singing it, but uh, it's mostly because of that. But uh, the, the, just the groove, everything is like um, very, uh, very aggressive throughout the whole show. And then you have the one guest always like they're like, "This is my shot," and and they do their thing, and it's like the, oh, they're killing it. And then we get to coyote, and it just kind of all the air gets let out, and uh, it's it's really a nice moment. Casey Sullivan. Who? Joni Mitchell. Well, as a harmonica player, Paul Butterfield is kind of like the messiah. So just to get to represent him or play any of his parts is one of the highest honors you can achieve as a harmonica player. And it's nice to uh, steal some of the spotlight away from Jerry as much as I can. <laughs> Chuck Tamolti, Ryan Freed on the harp. We're Paul Butterfield.
out here. Now when I was a young boy, at the age of five, my mama said I was gonna be the greatest man alive. Christina Alessi's song, Further On Up The Road, which is, of course is the Clapton song that Clapton sings, but we, we change it up and uh, we give it to a, a female singer, a killer blues female vocalist, um, and she just knocks it out of the park. To bring up Christina Alessi, one of the loveliest people I've ever known, and Bill Hamilton, one of the dirtiest. I think it was the Ophelia that I was just like, I got like, you know, it's like chicken skin and excited ever, every year for it. Rehearsal and for the show. Give it up for Mr. Jonathan Andrew. 
A lot of horns in this one. You know, a reflection of my personal taste, I, I love Van Morrison, and to see Liam Brown strutting around all cocksure, singing Caravan, that's funny to me, I like that. Wow, Hawaii Eagle, go. Jerry Cena! song well technically my favorite song in the last waltz is forever young i can't get through that song without crying <laughs> well i gotta admit i was mad that i didn't get bob dylan mm. coming out of the out of the gate uh but rob nicholas more than handles it and it's really in his range because uh jamie de jesus he has a great way of picking out who plays and sings what mm -hmm. Like he knows, I feel like he knows our ranges better than we know our ranges. And on that note, I totally forgot your question. How's everyone doing tonight? Thank you all for coming out. We love you all. Thank you very much.
most challenging is getting through the whole show without having to pee. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Take yeah. more guitar solos? Not to, not to <laughs> screw up. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, no mistakes. Yeah, no mistakes. Am I supposed to say, like, your name? Your name. This is why I do writing. You know, <laughs> I can backspace. <laughs> Everybody, come on in. You know what? You can't applaud this guy more, Jamin Jesus, for his passion and dedication, putting this together every single year. This is not as easy as it looks, folks. That actually doesn't, it doesn't even look easy. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming out and supporting us. We love you guys. Thank you so much. It means the world to us. I met him when I said you're the best crowd ever. Ever. Thanks. Don't mind if I do. The most rewarding um, would be, I guess, the end of the show when we uh, when we encore the big the big fun number, which I'm hesitant to say because I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> I just hope that the last waltz continues to be that that cornerstone of what we represent as a community, which is just us all coming together to do our very best in artistry, but also to be the best people for ourselves and for each other. My biggest mistake was loving you too much.